In this video, we will discuss troubleshooting bleed temperature control faults. The bleed air temperature is controlled by forcing cold fan air through a heat exchanger installed in a bleed air duct. The air is controlled by the fan air valve, which is a thermostat controlled pneumatic operated valve. There are two thermostats installed on the XR aircraft and one on the LR and EP models. On the XR aircraft, there is also a thermostat selector valve that opens to allow the high temp thermostat to operate the fan air valve when the NII systems are active. There are two faults associated with the bleed temp control. They are bleed over temp and bleed low temp ICAST messages. A bleed over temp message is caused by a failure of the fan air valve to open. This may be caused by a failed fan air valve or a fan air thermostat, or more likely caused by a damaged supply or servo line. A bleed low temp issue may be caused by a failure of the fan air valve to close or a failure of the bleed system to provide high stage bleed air. A bleed system failure to provide high stage bleed air would be caused by a failure of the high stage valve to open or a damaged duct between the engine and the engine pylon. A failure of the fan air valve to close could be caused by a failed fan air valve, fan air thermostat, or a blocked servo line. A damaged or dirty fan air valve filter may also cause the fan air valve to stay open. The first step in troubleshooting a bleed temp control fault is to check the operation of the fan air valve. To do this, you will need to first check the position of the valve. If the servo rod is full extended, the valve is open and should not be unless the engine is running and the bleed system is operating. You will then need to run the engine and turn on the air conditioning pack on the failed bleed system. Disconnect the servo line at the union as we did here, or you can disconnect at the fan air valve, see the blue fitting. You can then manually operate the fan air valve by placing your finger over the servo port. The valve should open when the port is covered. If the fan air valve operates manually at the valve, you can then disconnect the servo lines at the fan air thermostat and attempt to operate the fan air valve. If you are unable to open the fan air valve at the thermostat, you will need to find a leak in the servo line. The most common failure of the servo line is the rubber hose at the thermostat due to dry rot. At the beginning of the operational check, you will see the bleed temp rise to the middle of the white band and modulate in the mid-range. Once you pull the pre-cooler valve 1 or pre-cooler valve 2 circuit breaker as applicable, the bleed temp will rise in the green band and modulate in the green band. If the bleed temp does not reach the green band or goes into the red band, you will need to perform further troubleshooting.